If you are thinking about visiting Night City, you have to come to Kabuki. It's your ASMR friend just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back. I am so happy to be back in Night City. And today I want to take you through this area, Kabuki, which could be my most favorite place to visit whenever I come back to Night City. It has a charm like no other. And it's just layered with buildings, built up buildings, stacked, and with all sorts of ways to walk around it. For me, it just has a personality. Every little nook and cranny of this place has a story. And I know some people are worried because they've heard it's not the safest area. But I think that Night City in general is like that. And they have trash in Japantown, in Charter Hill, downtown, in Wellsprings, everywhere you go. So, Kabuki is no different. And actually, if I'm going to be honest, I feel safer in Kabuki than I do in Japantown. Which is also another lovely area. So. But this one. Like I said. There's a certain. Charm. It has. As you walk through it. see there stairs leading up or down depending on your view see someone's not having a great night Some adult entertainment. It wouldn't be Night City after all. And then if we come down here, we can see another food kiosk. Hmm. Looks good, doesn't it? And then over here, we got people. Sit, chat, living. And then a fun little bar area. So basically, anytime you're here and you want to grab a drink or grab some food. There's literally no excuse not to try. And I do appreciate the variety down here. There's dishes that you can only get in Japantown. 
or downtown, but Kabuki will have something similar or better most of the time. said this before the ramen in the city realistically no matter where you go you're gonna get good ramen but kabuki has just enough of a twist to their dishes something in the spices and the way they make it they just they do a tremendous job. And I like this little patio, courtyard area, whatever you want to call it. Great place to eat with just a phenomenal view. And look at that. So many different buildings. And that's just a taste of Kabuki. Plus, Kabuki. It's just a fun word to say. Kabuki. 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 Send a little more. You can see it goes further down. It's just all connected. And yes, plenty of trash. Never a shortage on vending machines. And now, we'll go down a little further. You can see some graffiti here. Surprise that looks relatively clean. That's not always the case. And look, plenty of vending machines for you. And yes, another place to sit down, grab a drink, get some food. So yeah, if you are thinking about coming to Night City, I highly recommend checking this area out. There are plenty of hotels here, and they're way cheaper than they would be in Japan town. Or certainly, Charter Hill. Which, it isn't too hard to get around in that city. And if you really enjoy the nightlife and trying out different food, I mean, you can do it all in Kabuki. See the water down there? But I mean, Look at that. The building nearly touches the freeway overpass. The 
grays and the blues and the greens. And I just find that every building is beautiful down here, especially. A little bit of traffic, but as you can see, the streets aren't too packed, at least not yet. It is a weekday afternoon after all, but you come here Friday nights, Saturday nights, you'll see a different A different side to this place. I just think that's so cool. And this bridge has been here for so long. You would have thought they would finish it by now. But so many projects get delayed or, in this case, forgotten, abandoned. But Kabuki just keeps on. Got a guy jamming out. Just a glimpse of the big city. Plus, you might want to check this out. Break the chains of your sin. Your sins have been forgiven. This little area. Has this courtyard. Just entrenched in. These buildings. A little bit of a holy site. So, it's not uncommon to see people congregating there. And this place has really, really good coffee, actually. Mmm. One of the few places 
that allows gambling. Now, I'm not much of a gambler myself, but I had to check this out. When something's a rarity in the area, it's usually worth checking. And it's surprisingly fairly chill in here. And yes, there is a mess. This is pretty common to see. If this were your home, you would know. All right. I'm not going to try to grab a drink right now. Maybe another time. I want to keep taking you around. And I know I say this every time I'm in Night City, but my neck hurts from looking up. There's just a lot to see. Some more graffiti. I like these little corners, these little alleys. Now, we'll see it from a different perspective. Quite an ad right there. You can see that's what it looks like. You can never see it all. There's just so many different angles. Definitely have to be careful as a pedestrian. I've been hit many times. Luckily, nothing severe, but nevertheless. Now, I'm showing you this because just know that this is part of the attraction for some people in Kabuki, the no-tell motel. And let's just say, whatever happens in that hotel stays in that hotel. But I'm not staying there. Just wanted to show you.
because I'm excited to bring you along for this. Because I really like showing off the beauty. See a basketball hoop, abandoned car. I could see why this would make it look less appealing, but I think there's a lot of neglect, neglected area throughout all of Night City. Now, I don't advise you to do what I'm about to do. That's why I'm showing you, so that you don't have to. And now, I'm going to walk this way up the stairs, so that it's a little less jarring. These turning the stairs can be kind of tough to watch. especially prone to motion sickness, so I hope this is okay for you. Plus this way, you can take in this cool view as we climb. And see that the sun is still out, but looks like it's on its way down. And I mean, with a name like Night City, of course, at night, the city really comes to life. Sometimes I get stuck on these stairs. Got that big no tell motel sign. Alright, let me just chill on that for a bit. Take a different look over here. We'll get back to kind of where the old city and new city meet. Whoa, that was close. So, now that we're here, yes, I don't suggest sleeping here. I'll say that. 
end. And look at that. Right? How can you not love that? And even though it's not quite nighttime, it still looks beautiful to me. And look at that. Kabuki, and not the entirety of it, but a small glimpse. It's pretty cool. You can see all the rooftops. And we've already come this far, so I'm going to keep going here. Thank you for coming along so far. And again. I don't advise this. So, don't do this at home, and don't do this when you come to Kabuki. The NCPD does not really care for what I'm doing here. Let's keep it a secret between you and me. Oh, I went too early on that. Alright, there we go. It's not like I haven't had these reinforced tendons forever. Here we go. How cool would it be to live up here? Something with a rooftop patio? I've shown this type of view before, but I like coming back here. Just makes me feel like I'm part of something bigger.
is quite a rush. This love. And I know that I said Night City comes alive at night. And so when you see the sun setting, you start to see that it's getting a little darker. There's a little bit of a excitement because something incredible could happen to you. It just takes one good night to change your life. See the traffic. It's not too bad, but it's starting to pick up. People are leaving work and going out. You can take a picture. Even though I just jumped across that, you know. Man, Carmantic Horse should sponsor me. The amount of times their ads have popped in my video. Again, I do not advise you to do this. Just truly inspire. I wanted to show you what Kabuki looked like from here. And again, not all of it, but yeah, it's such a charming, fun area. Whether you've been living in Night City, just moving, or just visiting, you gotta check out Kabuki. It is so worth it. But really, anywhere in Night City, I mean, just look at it all. Anywhere you go, it's just not a bad view.
and peace. I hope so. I hope this has been relaxing and entertaining, enjoyable. I just hope it makes you feel good. Because I was excited to show this just sort of areas you never really see much. It's to show them a little bit of love. So, that's all for tonight. Remember to be well to others and be kind.